How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I wanted to make a video about util using the smaller JCOD DMP WaveMaker units with the EcoFlow battery backups that I covered the other day. I think a lot of people are going to get like a DMP-10 and a DMP-20. So I have this DMP-10 that I've been testing on this little nano tank that I'm going to be redoing shortly over the holiday break. So <laughs> don't judge that tank too hard. It will be completely redone. It's something I'm doing with my kid. Uh, but I wanted to cover these EcoFlow units in conjunction with the smaller pair of pumps because I think that these units are really good choices for really any of the JCOD DMP uh, wave makers, but especially the DMP-10 and the DMP-20, which I anticipate being pretty popular. The reason why I think these will be popular is that the JCOD DMP, unfortunately, when they made it, they did not include, like on an Ecotech Vortec, a little DC socket on there where you could run a DC cord uh, from your power from your control box to a backup battery unit which I think would have been a pretty cool thing for them to put on there they did not end up doing it so it is what it is but you've got options from that point where J Bow said we're not gonna we're not gonna deviate from our universal control box the option that I would select would be an ecoflow river 2 unit now look I'm not saying that the EcoFlow River 2 is like the end-all be-all of lithium iron phosphate battery units, which by the way are vastly superior to traditional uh, like uh, lead acid battery options like the one that you see from Ecotech for their Vortec uh, line. Those are completely degraded on you within three or four years. The beauty of lithium iron phosphate, like what's encapsulated within these, is that they will last you with consistent cycling like eight to 10 years, which means that the value is tremendous on these units, okay? Uh, I'm not saying, back to my point, that these are the best things out there uh, for you. However, I'm just unplugging the other one to get ready for this test here. Uh, however, despite them, you know, other people uh, maybe wanting other units other than the River 2, the thing that makes the River 2 really a unique option for reef tanks is that it functions like a traditional UPS. So you can connect it to the wall and keep it charged at all times and keep your pump plugged into it. When power is completely cut, it automatically flips over instantly to battery backup power. When power is restored to your house, it then just resumes pass through powering of your pump so you never have to think about it it just will work for you um so i'm gonna go ahead and test how long an ecoflow river 2 base unit which is uh 115 to 130 dollars refurbished at any given time on ebay from the official ecoflow store and comes with a warranty and then i think for like a hundred dollars more you can get a refurbished uh, EcoFlow River 2 Max, and it's double the battery capacity. So as you can see, we're almost at 100% on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate the AC outlets because it comes with an AC side and a DC side. So you can hook up either way that you want. It also, you'll notice, comes with some USB uh, traditional and USB-C port there. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in. You're seeing 23 hours that it could be on standby time with the AC outlet activated. Now the pump just started. It's running at 100%, okay? So let's take a look here. It looks like, so you see the time remaining on the battery backup has reduced down to 12 hours. So with a DMP-10 running at 100%, you can bank on having 12 hours of backup time before you have to start worrying about some other eventuality, finding a generator, whatever. And that's just on the base unit that you can get for oftentimes on sale, 115 bucks on eBay. Uh, pretty great. So let's go ahead and disconnect that and we will try the same thing. I'm guessing that you're gonna get on this little, uh, on this little uh, JBAO, JCOD, uh, DMP20, or DMP10, I'm guessing that you're gonna get about 24 hours which would be wild 
on this max, that's a long time to be keeping a pump moving, but let's just see. All right, so it's got 99 hours of standby time right now. I can hear the pump activate. Let's see. See it coming down? We're at 30, 27. I'm going to let it really, really settle in because it's taking a calculation for how long the battery backup will last. Is it really going to hold at 27? That's wild. So, yeah, 27 hours is how long the EcoFlow River 2 Max will work with a 100% intensity JCOD DMP-10 unit. I mean, if you have a smaller tank, even if you want more flow, even if you had an SPS tank that was like 25 to 40 gallons, it would almost be worth getting one of these and just stick it in the, sticking it in the back and connecting it to backup power, one of these little 10s, because it'll be like your backup power pump. I mean, that's just, wow. 27 hours is no joke. Most power companies are going to fix a problem within that length of time. Most will fix a problem within, you know, five, six hours uh, with ease. So 27 hours, I'd feel pretty great at that. That's pretty phenomenal. That's higher than I anticipated. I thought maybe it'd be like 22, 23, 24. So, all right, guys, um, that's the test of how long the JCOD DMP-10 would last on an EcoFlow River 2 base unit and an EcoFlow River 2 max unit. And again, like, you know, the max is about twice the size as the base unit. Uh, and it's about $100 more based on what I've seen. So, you know, you can get a new one for, you know, depending on sales that are always running on and off. You could get one for like between 200 and 250 a max unit. And you could get one of these uh, base units for anywhere from like, you know, 115 to 150, depending on sales. Um, yeah, pretty great deal. So I will, uh, I'll test more of the pumps uh, with the EcoFlow River 2 line and just to get those times out there so that people can make an informed decision. But there you go. Uh, if you're looking for like UPS style functionality on a battery that's going to last you eight to 10 years and offer you a ton of functionality. And by the way, a really cool app. I didn't show you that, but it's got a pretty great app that goes with it. Uh, yeah. EcoFlow is a solid option. All right. Have a good one, folks.